how you are programmed to be poor. In today's society, many people unknowingly carry certain beliefs and habits that hinder their financial progress. From an early age, many of us are encouraged to prioritize subjects like math, science, and literature over financial literacy. As a result, many people enter adulthood without a firm grasp on crucial financial concepts like budgeting, investing, or understanding credit. Society often argues that pursuing a traditional career provides more security and stability than venturing into entrepreneurship. As a result, many people opt for the perceived safety of a steady paycheck over the uncertain rewards of entrepreneurship. However, entrepreneurship allows for unlimited earning potential and the creation of assets that can generate long-term wealth. Instant gratification is constantly promoted in a world of one-click purchases and same-day deliveries. This mindset leads to impulse buying, consumer debt, and neglect of long-term financial planning. Personal finance is mostly impulse control over excessive spending once you make enough to pay your bills. Many of us are conditioned to avoid taking risks. We're taught to seek stability and predictability and often hear phrases like, better safe than sorry. This programming can limit our willingness to take calculated financial risks, such as investing in the stock market or starting a business. However, these ventures, while risky, have the potential to generate significant wealth. Our culture often propagates a scarcity mindset, suggesting that resources are limited and that one person's gain is another's loss. An abundance mindset, which views wealth as something that can be created and expanded, opens us up to new opportunities for financial growth. One standard piece of financial programming is the belief that owning a home symbolizes financial success. This programming can lead to overemphasizing home ownership at the expense of other investment opportunities. A home is a liability when you must pay a monthly mortgage and upkeep costs. It only becomes an asset when you sell it for a profit. The notion that learning stops after formal education can stagnate our personal and financial growth. Embracing lifelong learning can enhance our value in the marketplace, increase our earning potential, and provide us with the tools to navigate the evolving economic landscape. Society and culture play a significant role in shaping our financial habits. This programming not only normalizes poor financial habits but also stigmatizes wealth-creating behaviors. Money is often considered taboo, and many are programmed to avoid discussing it. This enforced silence can prevent us from seeking advice, learning from others' experiences, and gaining valuable insights into money management. Negative stereotypes about the wealthy are common in our society. We're often exposed to narratives that portray wealthy individuals as greedy, corrupt, or morally bankrupt. This programming can discourage us from aspiring to wealth, associating financial success with negative traits. Understanding that wealth and morality are not mutually exclusive and recognizing wealth's positive potential can help challenge these stereotypes. Disbelief in our economic system often goes unchallenged and is perpetuated by societal programming. Not wanting to participate in free market capitalism or demonizing it as an unfair system leads to not tapping into the opportunities to build wealth through economic creation. Focusing on financial literacy, embracing entrepreneurialism, promoting delayed gratification, and adopting an abundance mindset, we can redefine our relationship with money and aspire to lasting wealth and prosperity.